Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to customize the picture or image on your Toyota Tundra radio screen. You know, a few days ago, I did a video um, doing that on the Toyota Tacoma, and a few people have asked me if you can do it with the Toyota Tundra. So we're going to find out. I don't have any on here, and I've never done it before, so we're going to give it a try. First off, before I start, um, I'm going to tell you what you need. First thing is a flash drive or a thumb drive, I guess. And that is so that you can save the pictures or the images that you want to transfer onto your radio screen. Secondly, the images must be saved as a JPEG file. That's .jpeg, a JPEG file. Secondly, on your flash drive, you need to create two folders to save your images into, depending on which you want as a startup image and which you want as a display off image. So the first folder needs to be called Startup Image with a capital S and a capital I, all run together. So capital S-T-A-R-T-U-P, capital I-M-A-G-E. Save your startup images in that folder. It won't work if you don't do it this way. Secondly, you need to create another folder called Display Off Image, all run together with a capital D, a capital O, and a capital I. So it's capital D-I-S-P-L-A-Y, capital O-F-F, capital I-M-A-G-E. Very important that you do that. You'll be frustrated if you don't as to why this isn't working. The, uh, the final thing you need to do, and this is what has worked for me, I'm sure this can vary, but the image size that I use anyway is 885 by 530. That seems to work pretty good. Again, I think you can finagle that a little bit depending on you know, how your picture looks or whatever. So you might wanna pause the video right here, head off, get all these things ready, and then come back on because I'm gonna show you next how you actually transfer the images from the flash drive to the radio screen inside the Tundra. Okay, I assume you've got all your images on your flash drive, you're all ready to go. So you need your keys because you either need to put the truck in accessory mode so that you can turn the radio on, or go ahead and turn the truck on. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go, everything's beeping at me and everything. Now I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see the steps to do this. Okay, you guys can see we've got the screen there in front of you. Um, you need to be on the home screen, so you wanna go ahead and hit home. And then you wanna go up here and hit this little gear looking like thing. So you wanna hit that and then you go to general and then we're gonna scroll down till we get to So I went too far. Customize startup image. So we're going to go ahead and touch that. You can see what comes up right now. Um, we want to add our own. So that's where the flash drive comes into play. You need to go down here to the USB auxiliary port and plug your flash drive in. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Let's see. I think we need it this way. You can see it flash there, that means it's connected. So now we go back up here and we wanna hit transfer and it gives you the verbiage, whatever. Go ahead and hit yes. And then it says it's copying images. You'll see them pop up as soon as it's ready. There you go. And these are the images that I have to choose from. Uh, I think in this case, we're gonna choose image number two. So we'll go ahead and hit that and then hit okay over here. It's updating the image. And that's it. Now, while we're on this screen, we're gonna go ahead and do the screen off image right here. So go ahead and touch that and then transfer. And it's gonna pull from that other folder, whatever you put in there. It's reading them now, you'll see it pop up. There you go. And this time we're gonna select this image and then hit okay. And there it's updating the image. And that's it, that's all you need to do. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and pull the flash drive. So we don't need that in there anymore. And then I'll turn the truck off and show you guys what the screen looks like uh, when it first. 
turns on. So here we go. You should see an image pop up. There's the default that always comes up. And there you go. That is my new custom image on the truck. Go ahead and hit continue there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, uh, like I said, the uh, screen off picture. So we wanna go ahead and hit home and then back up here to this little gear like thing. And then you'll notice screen off right there. So go ahead and hit that. And there is our screen off image. You guys can see right there, it's the channel logo. Go figure, right? So that's it. It works exactly the same as it turns out as the Toyota Tacoma does. So if, uh, if you watch that video or if you, maybe you have two trucks like I do and you've already saved files on a flash drive for that truck, you can use the same folders. It works the same way. Not too difficult to do. You know, it's just one of those little things to kind of customize the inside of the truck a little bit, you know, kind of make it your own. I think it's pretty neat. And again, you can put any picture that you want. I would caution you though, that sooner or later, you're going to have other people in your truck. So if you care, you might want to, uh, give a little bit of thought as to what kind of a picture you're going to put up there. If you know what I mean. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried this before. I'm curious to see as usual. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.